Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I have or what I'm packing in my hospital bag. I am 37 weeks and 3 days pregnant, so baby girl can come any day now. She can come next week, tomorrow, today if she'd like. So we're already prepared. We have everything set. This is going to go in the car right after I'm done filming this video. The car seat's already installed in the car. So we're good to go. So I just wanted to show you guys what I packed in my hospital bag. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and put on the notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. We're on the road to 500 subscribers, so we're super excited. And yeah, so if you guys are ready to see what I packed in my hospital bag, then keep on watching. First things first, the number one thing that I'm packing are masks because we are in COVID season so it's super important to have your mask ready and it's crazy that we live in a world now where we have to have masks every single day everywhere we go in any store that we enter so I bought a pack of 50 of these disposable masks from Amazon and I'll link everything that I purchased from Amazon in the description box down below so you guys can Go check it out, but I bought like 50 of these masks for like five bucks, so I think it's a pretty good deal. So I'm packing this in my hospital bag, um, just in case, you know. Even though they're most likely gonna provide us for, with masks, I just kind of want to be prepared. But yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the baby's bag. If you guys saw the video of what we got for our baby shower, um, you guys saw that I got this bag, and it's from the brand Skip Hop. It's just this burgundy diaper bag. Oh, and it matches my shirt. So I'm bringing this. This all this has all the baby stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I packed in there. A disclaimer: I didn't pack too many things because I know that the hospital is gonna be providing most of the things. So I didn't want to like overpack and like bring too many extra bags. So. The bag is very spacious, it looks like this. I have these little baggies that I got for Christmas. They're just like Victoria's Secret bags. So in this little bag, I have all of baby's clothes in there and they're all washed. It's important you wash the baby's clothes before you put them on the baby. So I have different outfits for her. I obviously, as a first time mom, I'm not gonna know what size she's gonna be. So I packed different um, baby outfit sizes. I packed newborn and zero to three months. I think I even packed a little bit bigger than that just in case. Even though I'm most likely she's gonna fit into newborn, I just wanted to be prepared. But I packed like four different outfits. So I bought, so I packed like these little onesies so she could be comfortable. This size is a zero to three months. I packed this size more onesies this one is newborn it's a little tinier but i wanted her to be comfortable and i even packed short sleeve shirts as well they're so cute more little onesies and a little going home outfit that is still being decided i packed a bunch of cute little clothes but this might be one of them it says busy being adorable and then it has like the matching pants it's so cute so that's one outfit another one that might most likely be the going home outfit is this cute one seam and it's super soft and super cozy. This might be her going home outfit. We're not sure yet, but I packed all of these little outfits for her. And they're all in this little cute bag that happened to fit. So I'm definitely packing her all of these outfits. So that's in this bag, all her little outfits. And then in the second little bag, I just have a bunch of different socks. I bought her three different I brought, I keep saying bought, I brought her three different pairs of socks, little fuzzy socks, and 
some mittens as well. I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital for, so I just brought a variety of different outfits and for myself as well and my husband because it all just depends. I want to be prepared, so like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital for, so I just packed a different amount of outfits. Just in case. Okay, I forgot to mention that her beanies are at the bottom of these little, of uh, where her outfits are. I packed her some beanies as well. And so, in this little bag here, I just have a bunch of these little cloths. So when I burp her, or just to like wipe off any milk or anything. So, I just brought a little pack of these little cloths just to be prepared. Okay, so that's all that I packed for the baby because I know that the hospital is going to be providing the diapers and all of that stuff. So I didn't want to really bring too many things when the hospital is going to be providing half of the stuff that I need. Now going on to the bag that I packed for my husband and I. So I'm that type of person that I don't like to carry so many bags. So I just have one bag with both my husband's and I stuff. I didn't want to be like, carrying 10 different suitcases 10 different bags like if i'm staying at a hotel i just wanted to pack one bag with both our things and just call it a day so it's so much easier to carry as well so first things first i am packing a blanket for my husband because hospitals from what i learned don't make the the sleeping situations for the husband very comfortable so i'm packing a fluffy blanket for him and I'm also going to be bringing a pillow for him to sleep with so he's super comfortable because I just want my husband to be comfortable especially during the waiting process of the baby survival so yeah by the way I'm a first-time mom so um, I'm still learning of what to bring you know I had to take notes based on different videos that I watched so if I miss anything or if you feel like I were overpacked a couple of things you know leave it in the comment section down below leave any suggestions that you may have because like I said I'm a first-time mom I don't know what I'm bringing I don't know what to bring this is my first time so I just took notes based on videos that I watched and yeah that's basically what I'm going by so yeah, just a little blanket for the hubby so he's comfortable. And so let's get started with opening the bag up. So on this side here, I am bringing slippers. These are just some Jessica Simpson fluffy slippers. I'm bringing these so I can be comfortable, so I can be walking around the hospital room with some comfy shoes. So I'm bringing these with me. My mother-in-law actually gave that to me. Okay, so. I packed my husband and I some socks so we're comfortable, different pairs. I packed him his undergarments as well. And then one of the things on my list that I was told to bring was granny panties. So I'm going to show you guys. I got these from Target. Target was having like a deal. It was like 7 for like $25. So I just bought like these stretchy underwears. Um, knowing me, I know that I'm not going to want to be in no tight clothes, no tight underwear. I'm not going to be wearing any thongs or anything like that. I just wanted to be comfortable. So I just bought a pa um, seven pairs of like these really stretchy and comfortable material underwear so I could wear them after the whole labor process. So definitely bought a bunch of these that I packed that's on the side of the bag and if we open up the big pocket I packed a bunch of other things so the other thing on my list is nursing bras so I bought a pack of three from Amazon I'm also going to be linking where I got these from in the description box if you guys are interested but these bras are super comfortable I already washed them and everything, but they're comfortable. I got these in a size medium, and oh my gosh, they're so soft, and it just makes it easier to breastfeed, so it just has like a little detachment at the top. There you go. So it just opens up, and you could breastfeed, and then when you're done, put it back up. So I got, I brought along with me three different pairs. 
And like I said, these are all from Amazon, so I got a black one, a nude one, and I also got a burgundy one. So these are definitely worth it. I think for a pack of three, it was like $20 or something. I don't know. I'm not sure I remember, but I'll link it in the description box so you guys can purchase it if you guys are interested. But that's what I'm bringing along with me. Also, what I'm bringing is this little bag full of travel size essentials. So let me open it up. First thing that I have in here is hand sanitizer. Obviously, COVID season. We want to make sure that we're protected, so we are bringing some hand sanitizer along with us. I'm bringing some wet cleansing towelettes, just so you know, clean up and stuff. Some lip balm, because I heard it's super important to keep moisturized, because a lot of people say that being in the hospital tends to dry you up, so I'm bringing some lip balm. Some, I'm bringing a toothbrush and a toothbrush for my husband so we could brush our teeth in the hospital. <laughs> and then it just comes with a little razor. I'm bringing some scrunchies and some travel size shampoo and conditioner and deodorant, floss, travel size toothpaste and some travel sized hairspray just to keep my hair maintained. So I got this whole kit from Target for I believe $10 and it came with the deodorant, the floss, the razor, the travel size shampoo and conditioner, the toothbrush, and yeah. So I came with all these little essentials so I think it's super important. Even though the hospital does have like shampoo, I just kind of wanted to bring my own so I packed that. So that was that. And then, like I mentioned earlier, I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital for. So I packed three different outfits for my husband and I to wear, to change into. And that is also another thing that was on my list. So I just packed my husband a sweater because I don't know if it's going to be cold in the hospital or not. So I just packed him a little sweater. And I packed a bunch of different sweatpants for him so he's super comfortable packed like three sweatpants for him and I also packed three sweatpants for me to wear just so I could be comfortable as well, as well. and then I also wanted to pack an oversized t-shirt so I'm comfortable so my sister actually got me this shirt for Christmas and it's just like an oversized shirt so I can be comfortable I don't like to be compressed or tight especially since I'm going to be giving birth and I just do not want to be tied up in there I want to I want to feel free so yeah I also got some PJs just to lounge around when I when I'm in the hospital and it was also recommended to bring your own towels based on the other videos that I watched so I definitely did bring my own towel for my husband and I so more sweatpants for me to wear after so I also bought I also packed some t-shirts for my husband. I packed three sweatpants and three shirts to change into. And then I packed myself three sweatpants as well and three different shirts to change into, as well as some tank tops because I don't know if after I give birth, my hormones are gonna be going all crazy and I might be hot, I might be cold, I don't know. So I just bought some, brought some tank tops with me as well. Another important essential to have ready is your car seat because the hospitals won't let you go home with your baby if you don't have your car seat in the car. So that's already done and set in the car. And another thing that I'm going to be bringing from my list is electronics. So obviously there's going to be a waiting period before the baby arrives. So I want to keep myself occupied and entertained. So I'm bringing an iPad. My husband and I have an iPad so he'll probably be watching his fights here and um, YouTube on this. I'm gonna be bringing my laptop. I cannot go anywhere without my laptop so yeah I'm gonna be bringing my laptop, watching YouTube videos, probably editing some videos, um, just keeping my mind occupied so electronics is a must. 
definitely bringing extra chargers like the six feet one so i'm gonna be ordering some off of amazon as well the really large ones and what else am i missing definitely the camera to vlog the whole process of the labor and delivery and some snacks because i don't know especially during covid time if they're gonna allow my husband to go in and out of the room so um if that's the case i'm gonna bring some snacks just in case but that concludes today's video if you guys enjoyed you know like this video and stay tuned for more videos that we're gonna be posting baby girls coming soon so we're gonna be vlogging that whole process for you guys as well and yeah so thank you guys for watching if you guys have any other video suggestions that you guys want to see, please leave them in the comment section down below. And we will definitely try our hardest to film those videos for you guys. So with that being said, peace and love. Bye.